This week on Machinery Pete TV, a return to the George Andrew auction. From the production line to the farm, this S670 combine is a one owner dream machine. A lifetime love of John Deere is evident in this pristine 60, and big four wheel drive tractors are commanding big sale prices at auction. Your machinery is a serious investment and at the heart of every farming operation. Some call it a passion. We're Machinery Peak TV, and today we'll cover everything from auction roundups to the classics to the latest trends and technology. Machinery Peak, the most trusted name in farm equipment. Machinery Peak thanks these premier sponsors for their support. Sullivan Auctioneers, let our team of professionals show you how to make your auction a success. Visit SullivanAuctioneers.com. Hey folks, welcome to Machinery Pete TV. We're back in Wisconsin this week, great state. We're just about 30 miles south of Madison. And today we're gonna focus on this online farm auction on some really nice harvest equipment. We've got a 2012 John Deere S670 and a 2019 John Deere 708C. Now before we watch this great stuff sell, we gotta go back to the studio, catch up on the latest farm equipment news. Thanks Pete, I'm Clinton Griffiths. John Deere making a splash with its largest product launch ever, and we have an inside look at it all. And more than new equipment, John Deere says it's providing new solutions, marrying both iron with technology. Now check out the new 2022 9 Series tractors. It includes 12 models from six wheel, three two track and four four track models all ranging from 390 to 640 horsepower john deere says the nine series is catering to precision agriculture saying it's simplifying the work for four-wheel drive customers they're also unveiling new eight series tractors and technology upgrades the equipment maker saying the eight series features are focused on agronomic solutions the line between where precision ag stops and the tractor starts is extremely <laughs> gray, right? That used to be maybe you you had to bolt on some extra precision ag hardware, but it's especially now it is it's just part of what that tractor does just as much as having hydraulics or a nice seat in the cab. John Deere also introducing its first product in the C and Spray lineup called C and Spray Select. The technology selectively sprays green weeds growing in a fallow field, reducing herbicide use up to 77%. You can just head over to agweb.com to see more exclusive details about all of these new products. As we start looking ahead to spring planting, farmer sentiment is virtually unchanged. A new Purdue CME Group Ag Economy Barometer has a reading of 165. Now that's just two points lower than January. Researchers say farmers continue to report strong current conditions on their farms with February's current conditions index valued at 200. Now let's take a look at some recent auction prices from around the country. Now back to Machinery P. Hey, stay with us folks. Coming up, we've got a pair of late model heads you're not going to want to miss sell. 2019 John Deere 708C 8 row corn head and a 2016 635 FD. Machinery Pete TV, brought to you by the Senex Total Protection Plan, the best warranty in the agriculture industry that keeps you in the field and provides you peace of mind. Visit Senex.com. Hey folks, I'm here with owner George Andrew, and George, you've got a very late model Cornet here, a 19 model 708C. Why don't you tell us about it? Well, bought a brand new one, 19. Uh, John Deere was just coming out with a new chopping roll. I was looking at Commerce, mm -hmm. and they kind of reeled me back in and, and wanted to show me this new chopping roll they had. And okay. 
They finally convinced me that I should have this new chopping roll, only I had to buy it out of parts. Mm. So I paid dearly, but uh, I'm really happy with them. And so 19, it's, it's run two seasons for you then? Yes, probably got 2,000 acres through it. Okay. And the chopping aspect uh, becoming more important. Yes. Um, of course, I'm in national corn growers, and our populations have been up in that 38 to 40,000 and just a ton of trash. And we were just, we couldn't bury it all, so we had to figure out a way to, to uh, chop it up better. I looked at going at a chopping head, a lot of maintenance, and they convinced me that these new chopping rolls would do the job, and, and they've done very well. Well, and we need to stop here, folks, and recognize George, you've three years in a row now with the National Corn Growers. Yep. I know you're, I, you're a humble guy, but you need to tell us what, what the awards you won. Well, I won the irrigated class in 18, and I think uh, my yields were 285. 19 was 297. We tried mm -hmm. to break 300 and didn't get her done. Mm -hmm. And this year we won the class again at 324.77. Wow. Well, congratulations. So. Hats off. That is amazing. And uh, Cornhead, part of the team here, somebody's going to get an awful nice eight-row head. Absolutely. A wonderful head, and it's had very good use, or very little use, and just a great running head. All right, folks, time for another very nice head on the auction. Uh, George, why don't you tell us about this thing? It's a 16 model, 635 FD, is that right? Yes. Bought okay. it brand new in 16. Uh, it's had about... 4,000 acres through it. Okay. Uh, now, was there a year with the weather that you didn't have soybeans in this? Yes. Okay. Year before last. That okay. would have been 19. 19. Had no soybeans, and so it sat, sat in the shed. And uh, But when we got this head, we traded in a regular um, auger head, yep. a 35. And I'll tell you, when you go to an FD draper, there's no going back. There's no going back. And you can, you can combine in wet, wetter conditions, mm. later in the evenings, and it's just been a huge improvement to the operation. Mm. Case where we need to tip our hats to our manufacturers for improving our equipment as we go, huh? Yes, yep. So, but I think that uh, if someone buy, wanted to buy a good draper, this is it. Mm. And it, it's gonna speed up their whole operation. Right. What have the inquiries you've been getting, have they been mostly from local fellows on this one or? Uh, they've been all over the country. Okay. We've had a lot of interest and, and we've had quite a few guys come and look at it. Mm. So. Okay, well again, it's gonna make someone an awful nice head for their uh, harvest operation. Yeah, I think it will. Here are a few more items that sold on today's sale. Machinery Pete TV is brought to you by Kubota. Together, we do more. Your next piece of equipment is on MachineryPete.com. Search equipment from dealerships across the country to find what you're looking for. Only on MachineryPete.com.
Well, folks, you know I've been reporting the used tractor market basically on fire here early in 2021, and that includes used four-wheel drive tractors. Now, particularly ones in good condition with a bit of age on them. And the perfect example came a week ago Friday on a farm auction in Circleville, Ohio, kind of the central part of the state, sailed by our friends at the Went Group. They sold this very sharp John Deere 9220. Now this thing had 2,140 hours on it. Let me tell you, the bidding was intense. Eight 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 Talk to her, John. Maybe that'll go a little better. 157. Eight 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 so 156,000 bucks there, folks. That's the highest auction price on a Deer 9220 in almost eight years. I mean, you've got to go back to April 13th of 2013, 83 miles down the road to the southwest in Hammersville, Ohio, a farm auction. And I remember that sale because I was there. We were filming it for season one of our Machinery PTV show. And it was this 07 model, only had 683 hours on it. And I remember a farmer from Michigan drove down to the sale, brought his trailer, and was happy as a clam to drive home with it and paid 167,000 bucks for it. Now, if we, if we remember April of 13, of course, that was like right at the end of the highest period I've ever seen for used values before commodity prices softened up. Now, another example of a strong four wheel drive recently was back on the, on the Circleville, Ohio sale of Go Friday, another John Deere tractor, this 9630 with uh, 1,252 hours on it. So for 210,000 bucks, Highest auction price on a 9630 in over five years. Hey folks, welcome back to Tractor Tales. This week we're in western Wisconsin and we got a treat for you here with Bill Meyer. Now Bill, before we hop in and talk about your beautiful John Deere, 60 here. We got to talk about John Deere goes back to, the, to your very start. Why don't you tell us about that piece of history? Yeah, it kind of started on day one. Uh, my dad bought a new B John Deere the day I was born. Wow, that was and, quite a day for your dad. Uh, yeah, pretty big deal, I think. Now, now, Bill, tell us about your beautiful 1954 John Deere 60. My grandpa bought that tractor brand new in the summer of 54, and my dad drove it home from the dealer and they put it in the thrash machine and at the end of the day, the front tires were worked into the ground. Some, it was the first tractor in the area that had factory power steering. Ah, so the neighbors were very interested. Yeah. Has this tractor stayed in the family the whole yes, time? Yes, uh, my dad owned it for just a few years, and I've had it for 38 years. 38 years. Now, I know, Bill, you're, you're big into the tractor rides. Is that yes, correct? correct. Uh, have you ever take the 60 out on some of your rides? Yes. We, when we first started, this is what we took all the time. Okay. I would say the tractor could have two, 3,000 miles on it. Yeah, and I know with tractor rides, you were mentioning that uh, you're not really much for the short tractor rides, are you? No, right? we like to go on the longer distance ones. What does this tractor mean to you, being that it's been in your family the, all these years? Well, it's, it's pretty special. You know, it was, other than the B, it's the first tractor I drove. And when my grandfather was still cutting grain, you know, he'd be on the binder and I'd be driving the tractor and it was kind of a unique deal. For a lot of years we didn't use it a lot because there was nothing on the farm it could really do so this later in life now the tractor with the tractor riding we've been able to run it we use it a lot more. Have you done any work to the tractor over the years? Um, when I first got it it uh, from dad it had a cracked box so we fixed the engine and it's been that way since 80. Stay with us folks, coming up, you're not gonna wanna miss our feature item on the sale today. We got a 2012 John Deere S670 Combine two-wheel drive. This baby's got 2,172 engine hours. No other cornhead works like a Drago or pays you back like one. Visit your Drago dealer and see how you can justify owning a Drago on ROI alone. Got equipment to sell privately but tired of scams and hassles? Visit machinerepeat.com and click Sell Mine. MachineRepeat.com, the simple and secure way to buy and sell equipment online. Okay, folks, time to learn a little bit more about our feature item on the show today, a super nice combine, a 12 model S670, uh, here with owner George Andrew. 2,172 engine hours on this baby, is that right, George? Yep. Okay. Yes. Now, again, like all your other stuff, this is a one owner? One owner, yes. Okay. Bought a brand new and... Actually, I ordered it in 2012. Okay. 
didn't take delivery until 2013 because deer was behind and couldn't get them out fast enough. And so it didn't have any hours put on it until 2013. Interesting. Kind of hard to remember what that was like back in the kind of those go-go days back in uh, 11 and 12, huh? Yeah. Uh, back in 11 and 12, I'll tell you, that was pretty busy. It was busy. And things went along pretty fast. But uh, Now, what combine did you have before this one? S670. Oh, you had another one. Okay. Yeah, this, this okay. The second one. Now I'm, I'm standing next to this big monster here, uh, this S670, George, and it makes me want to ask you, what was the first combine that you ever drove on the farm? First combine I drove on the farm was a 310 Massey. You were a Massey guy. Now what uh, happened? How come we're still not Massey here? Well, we had to move up a little bit. It just okay. seemed like, as you grew along, John Deere seemed to be the up and coming in the combines and so we moved up. I think our our first John Deere combine was a 7700. Okay, now uh, has the phone been ringing on this thing leading up to sale day? Yes, yep. Um, it's not exactly the right time to buy a combine, you know, after season, but there's guys who got money out there and and this combine has been through mid-states right after the 2020 season. Mm -hmm. And I told them at mid-states, I said, if there's a bearing that has a, any noise to it, change it. Whatever yeah. you think it's got to be done, do it. And now, they change belts. Now, why? No, I'm just curious, George. Uh, some people might look at that and say, well, I'm going to sell it on my sale. Why should I invest in it? But you, it was important to you to make this thing. Well, it was important to me because it is a 2012, you know, but when you, when you put a 2012 out there, if a guy bought it, first thing he's going to ask himself, well, how much money do I have to put in it? And I just felt that to have it run through their shop and have everything done in it, I spent $20,000, hmm. but there was not a stone left unturned. So it's feel ready. Someone's going to get a ready to go machine. Yes. Well, folks, the buyer demand for good condition, low hour used tractors, absolutely incredible here early in 2021, right through the month of February. Now I could sit here literally and give you a million examples, but I'm gonna give you two from two auctions consecutive days late in February. Now I think this first one is the best example I can find for you to describe how hot the market is. Now this is a 2015 Case IH Magnum 310 CVT, 679 hours on it. Now this sold on a farm auction February 25th up in Northwest Missouri by our good friends at Younger Auction Company and it sold for $207,000. Now that is the record highest auction price I've ever seen on a Magnum 310. But here's the deal, folks. The previous high was almost exactly one year ago. It was on Leap Day, February 29th, 2020, a farm sale in West Central Iowa by our good friends at Sullivan Auctioneers. Now get this, that was a 2018 model Magnum 310 CVT with the exact same number of hours, 679 hours, went for 182,000 bucks. So here we are one year later, a model three years older, and it sold for $25,000 more. Now the very next day, uh, February 26th, on a farm auction up in North Central Ohio by our good friends at Wilson National, this very sharp uh, 2001 John Deere 8110 with 2,642 hours on it, sold for an even $100,000. And again, folks, that's the highest auction price on a John Deere 8110 in seven and a half years. Well, thanks for joining us today, folks, at the George Andrew Online Farm Retirement Auction from Evansville, Wisconsin. Fun to watch all that harvest equipment sell. Uh, I think that 2012 John Deere S670 at 85.5 might have been the buy of the day, but I think the 12 model is getting a little softer here in general of late. Uh, and also interesting to see that 2019 Deer 708C 8-row uh, upgraded to chopping cornhead sell for $48,000. Uh, folks, we will see you back here next week on Machinery Pete TV. Machinery Pete thanks these premier sponsors for their support. Sullivan Auctioneers, let our team of professionals show you how to make your auction a success. Visit SullivanAuctioneers.com.
next piece of equipment is on machinerypeat.com. Search equipment from dealerships across the country to find what you're looking for. Only on machinerypeat.com.